Greetings. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a new website in Dreamweaver and then associate that new website with a web server somewhere online so you can host it and it can be viewable by other people online. So first off we're going to want to plug in a flash drive so that we can move this site from computer to computer. If you're going to be using this only on one computer you don't have to do this. Alright, once it's plugged in, you can open the My Computer window by hitting the Windows key and E at the same time. And just click on that flash drive. And once you're in there, create a new folder. And you can go ahead and call it something related to, I'm going to call mine Ola Web, so I can keep track. Alright, once we've created that, we're good to go and open up the Dreamweaver. So let's go ahead and do that. In Dreamweaver, to create a new site, you go into the site menu and then click on new site. You give the site a name, so I'm just going to call it Ola Web. Same as my folder. Now you have to define the local site folder. This is also sometimes called the local root folder or the root folder. Anyway, we know it's on the flash drive, so we're going to navigate there and select the folder. Perfect. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go over to the Servers tab on the left-hand side. So let's click on that. Now we're going to click on the plus. This allows us to add a new server. And it gives you this dialog box. I'll be using a server that we have access to at Temple University. If you're watching this video and you're not using the same server, you're going to need to find out the information for your particular server but it applies pretty much the same no matter what server you're using. So I'm going to type in the name Astro, that's what the server is called here. It uses SFTP, the secure version of file transfer protocol. The SFTP address is astro.temple.edu. The username and password are going to be the, the information that you use to log into other temple resources, assuming you're logging into the Astro server. So it's probably going to be a TU name of some sort and whatever password you happen to use with your account. If you're using a different service, then find out the username and password that you're supposed to use from your own hosting provider. Alright, and now the last bit of information that you need to type in is the root directory. So this is Dreamweaver asking you the, what the main site folder is on your host. So for us, it's going to be public underscore HTML. Just type that in. And once you're done with that, we can go ahead and test it out just to make sure everything is correct. So there's the test button directly above public underscore HTML. That's what we're going to click on once we've set everything up. So let's click on test. And if you get this message that is connected successfully, that's a good sign, and that means you've typed in everything correctly. You can click OK. You can go ahead and save, and then save again. All right, so there's one last thing we've got to do, and that is export these settings so we don't have to type them in again if we move to a different computer. So in order to do that, go back to the site menu, then click on Manage Sites. Alright, so you may see a lot of sites in here if you've already made a site before. Probably we'll only see one site, so make sure it's the site we just created that's selected, and click on the export button, which looks like a folder with an arrow on it. Alright, once we've done that, it's going to ask us what we want to do. We want to back up the settings, including login, password, and local paths. So you click OK to that and it will ask you where you want to save this folder. I recommend saving it in like the root directory of your flash drive, not necessarily in the um, folder for your website, because if it's in the folder it will be uploaded to your server and that might not be the best thing. Alright, so you can just click save and then you are good to go. Next time we'll click on import site to bring it in, but for now that's everything you need to do to set up a brand new site and get it ready.